Come on, guys. So, you know, I've got the uh, 13 and 1. I've been using this one for probably a good two, three years now. Kind of beat the crap out of it. Let me see here. Sometimes I use this guy instead of going for my hammer. Um, but you know, it's definitely time for an upgrade here. Came across a pretty good deal. So this guy's got your standard, your star heads. I ended up losing one of my bits there, which is part of the reason why I went and tracked down another one, all my square heads. Um, definitely a good backup. I still keep it in my bigger bag. But, you know, this has still got your standard Phillips your flathead, your quarter drivers, running your uh, 5 sixteenths, your 3 eighths bit. So, I mean, definitely it comes in handy. It's pretty good. One of the things that was missing that I was really bummed out about when I tracked this one down, I was just super excited, was that ECX bit. So I'm swapping out outlets. I do a lot of residential maintenance. Um, and these come in handy constantly. Get a really good grip on them. It's got a mix between that Robertson square head and a flat head. It's like an interesting Phillips. I don't know if you can see that, that detail right there. But and this thing's sweet if you're doing outlets all the time. It's also got an adapter right here. You pop in your wire. Be able to curl that if you're putting in you know get your good pigtails and everything um, it's a lot smoother i really prefer the grip on it it's also got an adapter here if you're putting in a little more torque with a uh, you know a crescent wrench or just even a standard wrench there be able to get some really good torque on it um, so yeah when you're running that you still got your standard square heads and over on this side You got your Phillips, of course your flathead, your quarter driver, and then your smaller flathead and Phillips. So pretty awesome. Good upgrade for sure. So I'm doing outlets so often I usually just end up keeping it over here on the ECX bit. Really good upgrade. I know they have one as well that's got a Schrader valve core if you're doing more HVAC stuff. But for me I'm usually doing more electrical interior work. So pretty good 13 in one. Definitely a good upgrade. You can see in size and everything. It's a lot more convenient carrying this one around. So yeah, and then moving on, got the Icon wrapped pliers. I'm gonna picking these up not too long back. Pretty good for doing lock nuts below sinks, um, even stuff like angle stops. Get those little nuts right there without if they're you know they're kind of rounded or whatnot. Just you know the average rounded off bolt beats having to bust out the crescent wrench. Definitely get some good leverage on these. So yeah, that was a Harbor Freight pickup. And then the Doyle brand. So these are your assembly pliers. We've got kind of a crosshatch going on right there. Get a really, really good grip. Super wide opening. See right there. Good long reach if you're getting down into something. Um, you know, I love using these for just, if you get the, um, the faucets that have the bolts that are underneath the yeah, the sink there and kind of get a good grip on them, torque them out, enough leverage and everything to get back in there. So yeah, these are awesome. Snap rings, all kinds of different stuff. These just good to have in the bag. Had to get them. They were on sale. And then the Cobra knockoffs. I mean, Doyle's definitely, they're stepping up their game for sure. I've actually got two pairs of these. I picked up a newer one just as a backup. This is kind of an older pair I've had for a little bit now. Um... Really good jaw opening, super, super wide. Grip on these are awesome. Really no pinch zone, no matter where you're at. So quick adjust. These are actually just, I mean, my go-to pretty much. So if I'm not using these, I'm usually using just these little baby Milwaukee's I keep on my hip. I've got the tough built knife pouch, but these definitely got a little more pinch, so. For the size and everything, you're going to get good leverage with these. Good stuff. And then, forgot to bust them out here and check these ones out. So these guys here, stepping up a little bit in size. Check these out. So these are the big boys, water pump pliers. I always engrave my name into stuff. Lost a, lost a lot of my tools on the golf cart back in the day. So just kind of a kind of a thing I do. A lot of my stuff. I haven't gone through some of these newer ones. I haven't done it yet. Got my initials and Sharpie on that one. But um, now these, 
You get some great leverage if you're doing larger PVC fittings. Um, I think these are about two, two and a half, two and a quarter inch. Um, these are the 12 inch. And I mean, in my bigger, my rolling bag, I carry a lot of my bigger plumbing fittings, all my wrenches, stuff like that. Um, you know, these really do come in handy. Even if you're getting the below the uh, faucets, you get the uh, washer basket, you get the strainer basket, that kind of stuff. You get really good leverage on these, loosen them up. So yeah, definitely some good upgrades. I'd highly recommend Doyle if you check them out, Harbor Freight. Definitely a little more on the pricey side considering it is Harbor Freight. But the quality of these, their lifetime warranty, you can just take them back if you ever had an issue with these. The only part I could really see failing here is probably this quick adjust over time. Um, but I've had these for about a year now and I have, have yet to run into an issue with them. Easy to adjust, figure out the right spot and get good leverage on it. So check them out. Doyle is some good stuff. So yeah, a couple new, new wrenches here. Some quick adjust seems to be my favorite right now. Just makes life a little easier. Running from work order to work order, all these different turns and everything. It's just good to have the right tool in the bag. So yeah, I appreciate you guys checking it out. Let me know what you think. What's your lineup of wrenches and like your channel locks and everything in your bag? Love to hear it. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one.